Welcome home, Raiders! This week, BlizzCon 2016 was announced. Will Mythic Plus Dungeons create problems for Raiders and loads of stuff in the Battle.net news and more? This is Convert to Raid number 215. You're listening to Convert to Raid, Convert to Raid. the podcast for Raiders in the world of Warcraft. Power Station in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today is uh, April 12th, 2016, and it's now 9.12 in the p.m. Welcome, everybody, back to the show. We have uh, we took a little bit of a break, a little bit of a hiatus uh, over the last couple of weeks, but we're back. It's all good. My name is Pat Crane. I'm the host of this shindig, also known as Zug around Airy Peak U.S., and the players are here. First up, from Lords of the Storm podcast, all about Heroes of the Storm, it's Gizmo! Hey, buddy. Hey, what's up, guys? Good to be back. It's been, uh, it's been a little bit, but we got a lot to talk about this week. And you moved! I did. I am uh, no longer in the cold Kansas City. I am down in the nice, beautiful, sunny state of Florida, Jacksonville, so. All right, you're done. Okay. <laughs> It's, it was 40 here today, so we're moving on <laughs> to uh, he's an adult with a job. He is also an Aspera guy. It is. Oh, boy. Sharku. Hi. Ah, hi, Pat. <laughs> How's it going, man? Um, no, is it going? No, it's going good? No. Dude, it's been too long. We I know. It has a show in a couple weeks. I it's know. Not- it's been the feels, man. I've been missing it. I've it, been, you know, just jonesing for yeah, some CTR. Yeah, I talk know. about World of Warcrafts and I know, ratings and I know. So we other missed stuff. Yeah, we missed the shoot the show two weeks ago because all it was was tracer butt. It was butt gate. Week, yeah, and it was like, well, I don't want to talk about butts for an hour. I mean, butts for like Listen, you know a couple of minutes is fine, but butts for an hour, no, that's okay. And then, I'm just saying. <laughs> If we're going to be talking about butts for an hour, I could probably talk about Tracer's butt for an hour. Sure, sure, sure. (laughs) If I was going to talk about butts for an hour, I at least want to talk about it with you guys. That's true. I I am an expert in that area. And then uh, last week I had some some family stuff pop up, so I had to to, uh, not do the show. Uh, but we're back and there's more news than ever before because of uh, many different things that have happened that have transpired. <laughs> we'll get to it. We'll get to it. A little bit of a tease for you guys. Uh, but first of all, I want to kind of find out what you guys are up to in uh, the world of Warcrafts and beyond in the Blizzard universe. Gizmo, you probably play a lot of HOTS still. I do just a little bit. Um not as much as usual, since I'm still getting set up down here right. uh, and been watching. You know, of course, we've had Heroes of the Dorm, the Spring oh, Global that Championships. So cool. That was so, so yeah, cool, a lot man. of a lot of stuff. The production they do on that stuff now is just absolutely incredible. Um, Should we just talk about that yeah, just, just real quick? Because I know absolutely. that Shark, you were probably watching that. You were probably glued to the set somehow. The Heroes of the right. Dorm. Yeah. Uh, I don't have cable. You didn't go to you didn't go to your local pub and and say turn it to ESPN two. I didn't want no I didn't I'm turn sorry to, I feel really bad because I did watch I did watch some of them that was on Twitch and I got the little icon for it but I didn't get to watch the nice. finals and I haven't yet I haven't watched the replays yet I've heard it was pretty one sided yeah. though <laughs> sounds like ASU just, just a little uh, bit just yeah, did, they, so. did they drop a game they did not drop a game. No, they didn't lose a game the entire tournament. And they just they just went hardcore. I heard that um, the guys were actually thinking about turning pro. Is that well, a, any rumor? Three of them already are. So yeah, I, I heard that too. All right. And I'm like, okay, Mike, Mike Udall, uh, Akaface, and Shot are all on professional but teams. But I mean, as, so. a, as a team, were they going to go like pro as a team or something like that? Uh, that I don't the... think so. Actually, um, uh, Udall and... Uh, Oh, who did he just join? He just joined a team that he is competing in tonight, actually. I, I believe the qualifiers for the summer um, regionals just started. Right. Yeah. Yep. Right, after, right after a big balance patch. That's what you want because they just yeah. <laughs> did a balance patch today. So, 
Good luck, fellas. Yeah. We'll see you later. <laughs> Have fun experimenting with that stuff. Adapt Adults with jobs actually had or a, die. Had a, what? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> we had a scrim with uh, those guys, Udall. I think really? it was Udall, Fam, and Akaface. Yeah, at one point. Wow. We were just, it was random uh, chair league stuff, and people were practicing streaming. I want to say it was Solid Jake. Um, but yeah, and uh, they were, <laughs> oh, it went, well, it was just the three of them and then two randos from the chat room or whatever playing against our five man. And wow. uh, they destroyed. They destroyed. <laughs> but I did kill Udall twice. Twice. <laughs> I killed I killed Mike Udall. It happened. Twice. Um, they went on to completely win the game, and I feel they like they annihilated were probably just you. trolling no. anyway. But <laughs> it was a lot of fun. They're they're it's, really nice guys. It's cool. a little known fact. Mike Udall is also known as Udall Zord Udall because Zord? He, has, he? he has been on our show, and he oh, was nice. dubbed a Zord. Nice. He's such a cool guy. I that's, really like Mike. That's really nice. Michael good, Udall. Good stuff. Uh, anything else in, in Blizzard for you, uh, Giz, at all? Anything that you've been uh, playing? Just, actually, he, World of Warcraft again, finally. So nice. after huh? I meet, my, my WoW was not working. I couldn't figure it out uh, oh, right. for about two weeks. Yeah. And I finally, I don't want to. I don't want to talk about what the problem was because I, I really want to know what the problem is. <laughs> user <laughs> error. It was user it. error. I know it. But it, I know it, it works now. That's what's oh. important. And uh, um, I I hopped in. I'm actually leveling up a shaman right now. Uh, one to get my Hearthstone uh, car- or hero portrait, and then mm-hmm. just level up a shaman. So yeah, shamans it's are good fun. Times. They're they're good they're good times. Uh, Shark, how about you, buddy? What's been going on with you? I know I've seen you. you know, in, I know I've seen you in Hots and and around playing Hearthstone and stuff like that. But what's going doing on? Doing all sorts of stuff. Still raiding with the hardcores. We're yeah. uh, oh, they're gonna kill me. Nine of thirteen now. I'm gonna oh, say please. nine of thirteen. There we go. Do yeah. a little bit of applause, sure. <laughs> nine of thirteen wow. heroic. We are we're we're working up there. We're kind of taking because we only raid uh once uh, one night a week. Yeah. Um, so we're kind of taking breaks between. We'll farm one week, go back to the beginning and farm, and then we'll start at uppers and try to uh, get a little bit of tier gear farming, and then right. move on to uh to do some more stuff. Yeah, you're going to be on the screen. My my girlfriend's about to walk behind me. Everybody say hi to Hannah. It's it's like Derry's cat. It's, it's, she just ran. It is like Derry's cat. Did you guys hear it? Go, I'm be... Oh my god. Oh, that is so funny. Uh, that's, that's great. She's 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 my best friend. Uh, um, she's precious. Have... She's she's very nice. Uh, yeah, and speaking of moving, I'm not moving to Florida, but I am moving oh. to an apartment that's larger than one room, so hey, uh, hope she'll be able to move out the house without being on uh, right. broadcast all over Twitch. Um, right. But anyway, oh. so yeah, uh, cool. to Hardcores is going well. Uh, cool. Taking a little break from HOTS. I still play a lot, but I am not playing in chair league this season oh. uh, on the oh, starting right, cause, team because you got because you're got a summer gig uh, and it's gonna cause a yeah. bunch of conflicts and yeah yeah summer gig so we've got actually uh you know uh Torridge's brother gaz is going to be taking my spot mm-hmm. on a, with jobs i'm still i'm actually playing on thursday they have we have they have a game on thursday and i'm still an alternate and they're going to be missing one of their guys so i'll be playing with them then but uh oh. but yeah i gotta take it a little bit slower um, because of all the summer stuff going yeah. on. I mean, I might not even be able to be on this show much over the summer, but what? We'll see. I know. What? I, I mean, when you work at the theater, I work nights, and yeah, I, I might be I able to be goes. back by ten. But <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> she just came in with chips and a diet Pepsi uh, and was making a Zoidberg sound. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. Uh, she's ru- she's ruining the show, Pat, or gaining users. I, you one know, or the I other. think she might actually uh, make be making the show better. I, I don't think you I can ruin this too much more. You know, we've ruined it pretty pretty well over the years. I, it's good. That's true. There's not much, but anyway, that's how I've been doing. Uh, you know, and and I haven't been playing any of the other games. I have a little bit of Hearthstone here and yeah. there. Um, yeah. While I'm at work, <laughs> I've been, I've been, so I've been playing a Hearthstone, but I, it's like every deck that I try just absolutely has been wrecked every Have you single tried time. 
Murloc Pally. I picked one up the other day, and yes. it's a lot of fun. I believe uh, if you just go to the Paladin thing at the beginning, and then yeah. you create a new Paladin de- deck, it will come up with that in the in the menu. It, as like well, a it might be a little deck. different because I I only use two Murloc pa- There are two two Murlocs in the Murloc Pally. I use the Charge or no mm-hmm. three. There's the Charge uh, Murloc. What's the There's point, the then? War Leader. The the, Murlocs every are so fin. Fun. Oh my Because God. you have the the old yeah. Merc guy who has Charge. Every then fin's, the Charge. Every fin's good. Yeah. So what you do is you have the two Murlocs with Charge. Yeah. Uh, the the two one with charge mm-hmm. and then the war leader which gives every Murdoch like plus two plus two or something like plus that plus two plus one and then plus two plus one thank you mm-hmm. then Merc eye who has charge and has plus whatever for every Murdoch that's on the board yeah. anyway you just play those and randomly kill them off to to help clear stuff throughout the match mm-hmm. and then at the end you get every fin you throw it down you've got three buff Murlocs with charge and if you have a second every fin right after that they're like maybe they do Clear your board. Okay. Second every fin, and you have just a board full of super it's it's really good. See now I like <laughs> I doing fun. I like doing the Murloc decks where you actually build up your Murlocs and then at the end they're all like just twelve a- ten. You know, I mean they're just crushing you and it's just it's so beautiful yeah. when it all works. It's kinda out. like what this is, except for it all happens in one turn and they all have charge and it's just right. stupid. But right. to get to that last turn is kind of tough. But it's yeah. a lot of fun. I don't know. I'm really Murloc enjoying decks the game. Are always a challenge. So it's always fun. Uh, but I'm sure we'll talk about Hearthstone more later, too. Right on. Well, we will talk about this because uh, this last week, BlizzCon 2016 was announced. <laughs> yeah. Uh, November 4th and 5th, Anaheim Convention Center in California, as usual. Um, and tickets are 199 bucks each, which I believe is the same as last year. So uh, get ready, guys. I mean, we're we're set. It's only two days again. When are they going to switch this thing to three days? Yeah, no kidding. I don't know. Especially with Overwatch this oh, year. Oh, Overwatch! You no, know, there's 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 going to be more esports. So this schedule is going to be nuts. It is. It is. It's. Gonna I, be crazy. I I have no idea how they're going to fit. No, there's no way you're going to be able to see everything. You no. know, and that's. That's sad, but at the same time, I know while I was sitting at the hero stage, a lot of us were sitting watching the Hearthstone happen live on our phones while we're watching <laughs> Hero Set. You know, it's just like right. there's tons of stuff going on, and that's that's a thing. But uh, yeah, I wish it was three days. It's yeah. so hard because then then you want to get in line and play demos, uh, mm-hmm. you know. And the other thing is, what kind of new stuff are we going to get this year? I would think at least a new diablo either expansion or something yeah it's the 25 year anniversary there's going to be some sort of awesome something that they do um i feel like so yeah man no i'm telling you okay Uh okay Uh oh i'm telling you and then he's getting excited so watch out (laughs) this is the thing like i was talking about this the other night and i was talking about like you know there's always mutterings like wells dying wells whatever I feel like what I really want Blizzard to do, and it'll never happen, but in my own magical universe it, w- it will, is they would announce something like Warcraft 4. Like, this is the last Warcraft expansion. We're done with World of Warcraft. Now we're just going to continue the lore in a new game, RTS, going back to RTS, Warcraft 4. They're not going to do then, that. No, they're not going to no, do never. that, but I want to. <laughs> but here's the thing. Here's the kicker. So, oh, now there's two RTSs and no MMO? But wait, because they're not going to announce StarCraft 3. They're going to announce World MMO. of StarCraft. <laughs> World of StarCraft. Uh. That would be, it would breathe through life into the MMO thing. They could do a completely <laughs> uh. new system, a completely new gameplay. It would be sci-fi. It would be awesome. I, that's what I want to happen. It's not going to. No, I know how many stupid resources happen. it's going to take that's, to do that. That's not going to happen. But I feel like it's kind of a good idea. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, I can tell you're really confident in that statement. I mean, kind of a good idea. You know, Giz <laughs> mentioned know. Warcraft 4, and, uh, you know, what a yeah, better way to celebrate 25. Be like, we're switching them around, and <laughs> Diablo's going to be a card game, and Hearthstone's going to be a dungeon crawler. There you go. <laughs> oh, there you go. Well, they did put out that April Fool's uh, Hearthstone, uh, the MMO. Hearthstone, yeah, yeah, yeah. the MMO. <laughs> it was just World of Warcraft. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. I, love, 
I thought that was funny. It was pretty. That was they're very tongue in cheek. I enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, uh, but they are going to be so for for BlizzCon this year. They are going to be doing the uh, the the qualifiers essentially for the finals for a bunch of different games or for the playoffs, I guess, for all these different uh-huh. for all these different games. And so that's going to be the weekend before, I believe, again, um, mm-hmm. just like it was last year. And I don't know how they're going to fit all this stuff in there because, especially with Overwatch now, I mean. There's so much stuff that's going to be going on. I can't. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe it. Are you guys set up yet for, did you guys get hotel and, and whatever? Did you get your your situation fixed, Giz? So uh, we have a lot more of the Zords uh, are going this year. That's and awesome. Swift Zord actually landed a hotel in the Hilton already and because of his Hilton points. Awesome. So. Uh, I I imagine I'll either be staying there. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to stay in Derry's house again. Uh, no, you're not. You're not. House. And I can and I can tell you why because because I actually I actually Nova. picked up the house uh, this year and it's right by where the old house was uh, for last year. So it's really great. Uh, and we're booked already. I think I think we're booked. I'm not sure. I have to I have to talk with the, I, have to, I have to talk with the guys again. But get a second house. Getting close. We're getting close. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, that's, that's not this. <laughs> that was, that was one of the, that was one of the deals that Derry said. He was like, it he's like, was, you know, uh, we can do, we can do the house again. Sure. No gizmo. <laughs> you know what? It's, it wasn't, I'm not going to throw anyone under the bus, but it wasn't all me. No, it uh, wasn't. I will, no, it wasn't. I will take it. No, it we're wasn't. still going to have a live drunk podcast, hopefully at the oh, house God. though, right? Like, that's let's hope it's not as in. bad as it was last year. Oh, geez. It was the, whatever. That's the best. That's probably that the was, most downloaded episode we oh have. My gosh. <laughs> uh, it, and by the way, just so you guys know, Derry's uh, couldn't make it tonight. He's, he apologized, but you know, whatever he's got work things to do. So he apologized. You and I are here again. Me. Yeah, Sharku and I are here again, so right. he's busy. Anytime that Darius can't show up, we get Sharku and Giz to show up, and and that's fine. That's good. So write right. all your letters to Darius. Be like, we need you on the show more. We're tired of Sharku, <laughs> please. Right, right. Uh, and just so you know, we are planning on doing a well played party like we did last year. The the you know the convert to awesome. guild party essentially, and and everybody else is welcome, of course. Uh, so. We are going to be planning that, and that will be that information will be coming as soon as we have more for you. But expect the same stuff as last year, plus more, plus more. We're going to try to amp it up a little bit. Uh, and uh, tickets for BlizzCon, these things go on sale on April twentieth and twenty third. So is it Wednesday and Saturday again? Is yeah, that, they go on sale on four twenty. Four twenty. Mm. <laughs> it's just at makes 4 me 20 sorry. p.m no it's at seven it's at seven no, yeah it is well seven uh pacific pacific well i guess it's later time later time that's what 10 10 eastern 10 your time yep yeah so, all right so there you go get your same f5 price. key ready same price same though. price that's yeah nice. yeah and, the, and they'll probably have the the uh um what you call it the five hundred dollar ticket or whatever for the for yeah. the benefit dinner and the charity. all that kind of stuff. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. so it's all it, that's all cool. That's all cool. Yeah. And the ticket I mean it sucks having to be on at that time and F five and all that. But I know I like it a lot better went to PAX last year. Yeah. PAX Prime. Mm-hmm. And the way you do that's it is basically show. you Yeah. Oh it's a it's so great. I, if anybody ever has a chance to go, it's it's totally worth it. But basically, you follow them on Twitter, and they tweet out, "Hey, we're releasing tickets now. Go!" And right. if you're at work, you know, because they, it's a surprise, they don't want to give anybody any sort of advantage. They just release them at one time. They say when they're they announce when they're released, and within, I mean, minutes, they're sold out. Mm-hmm. Um, right. And it's tough. So I like, uh, I do kind of like having a heads up, being able to plan around it, and having two different different times but it's tough and there's always there's always people selling tickets for cost afterwards too so yeah yeah hopefully everybody that wants to go gets a ticket that's right that's right speaking of other tickets that you can get you can get a uh you can get a free ticket to the world of warcraft movie if you want to come out to minnesota 
uh, and and just kind of letting you guys know. So, well played is also putting on the uh, the well played uh, party meetup for the World of Warcraft thing, Minnesota meetup style. Uh, so you can go to wellplayedparty.com and check out all the all the deets over there. But it's going to be on the Saturday, June eleventh. There are still there there are still tickets available, and you just go in and claim them, and we'll follow up with you later to make sure that you're still going. <laughs> uh, but we have we have everything set up now. So we now we have uh, we have uh, hotel rooms that are blocked off for us, and we have all this stuff. And we have people coming from California, Florida, Canada, Sweden, um, all over the place. It's crazy. To the Minnesota meetup. To the Minnesota meetup. We've got a, awesome. like a like a hundred and thirty tickets claimed at this point. Man, so, I if it wasn't in the middle, like that's the day that I start rehearsing for my play. I want to be there. Just don't. Just come to Minnesota. Don't. It's just fine. Don't. It's All fine. Right. It, you'll be okay. Don't worry about okay. it. Okay. You got a summer job for me up there? No. I'll do it. No. Probably shoveling snow, right? No. <laughs> no, no, not in the that's summer. A, that's in the a summer. Minnesota, isn't, that a, isn't that a Minnesota summer job? No, it's, it's snow. It's here are the seasons: cold S- ski lift operator. <laughs> here are the seasons: cold, 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 hot as all get out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Sweat, sweat <laughs> my your butt buddy, off. My buddy used to live in upstate New York, and he said there were two seasons: there was winter and construction. Yeah. <laughs> Const- <laughs> yes, winter and road work. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's right. exactly. That's right. Uh, one little other thing that I need to get to before we get to the news is that the new Illidan book is coming out or is is out right now. So if you guys are are lore nerds uh, and want to get your hands on this book, you got to go to the gear store, the Blizzard gear store, and buy the book. So Illidan is available now on the gear store, uh, so you can purchase it there. I. Uh, I, I think it's going to be a good book. I, and I've heard really good things about it from um, uh, from the folks over at Blizzard Watch. They said, oh, it's, it's shaping up really well. And, you know, so I, I think that those guys are like the lore guys. When I think of lore, I, I think those Blizzard Watch guys know what they're talking about. So should be good. Should be good. Yeah, um, absolutely. I, uh, I'll yeah. probably pick this up because lore has been something I've been wanting to get more into. I know I, I just mentioned that I... Um, picked up the first volume of those uh, the WoW Chronicles that we showed a while back and I've, I've read Tides of War and one other and they're they really are fantastic books well the Chronicle is going to be a good primer for everything else that you do so you yeah. and you you've got that on order right so yep so that'll be good and then pick up the Illidan book and that's kind of like a throwback and you know it's new story as well so that's kind of mm-hmm. cool that's kind of cool. All right. Uh, anything else before we get to the news? Okay. Let's do it. Let's go. Calling all raiders from around the world of Warcraft land. This is Raiding News. It's time to check out what's happening for the news for raiders around the world of Warcraft. And up first, we we're going to be talking about uh, the alpha a little bit today, uh, including Mythic Plus Dungeons. It's not Ooh. it's not like mythic it's not like mythic plus dungeons no it's mythic plus dungeons uh yes. and giz can you uh tell the folks what mythic plus dungeons are Yes so I am super excited about these I think it's going to bring a lot to the game uh I think we've kind of talked before about how Legion is like the Diablo expansion of World of Warcraft Yeah and these Mythic Plus dungeons are, I guess, kind of like the new challenge modes. It's kind of like Greater Rift dungeons. Um, so you can go in. I don't think they've said how you get these. Uh, what are they? Are they called Rift keys? Keystones. In this? Keystones. Keystones, yeah. Keystones, yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure they've said how you get those yet. I think it's just from completing the normal dungeon. Um, but anyways, then you can start running through on these challenge modes. They, I think, level one up through level nine, I think I've heard. And each level, you know, the bosses and stuff have more health in there. They hit harder. And then once you get to level three, everything starts getting affixes, uh, which there's six, I believe, uh, that we can go through. They got tyrannical, bolstering, raging, teaming. Um, just all affect each of the minions and bosses in there differently. And then you can get up to level six and you'll have two affixes. But the greatest thing about this is... Uh, 
it's something for people who maybe can't find a raid team or uh, having trouble. A raid team is missing members one night, so they can't do raiding. Right. Hop in here, do these. I believe you have yeah. a what a forty-five minute timer in order yeah. to complete a level to move on to the next one. Right now, it seems like they're yeah. the, the, that's what they've done. They put it. They put the timer on forty-five, and you need to complete it within forty-five minutes. And uh, th- if you complete it. Then it depends on whether you get gold, silver, or bronze for your time, mm-hmm. and then you get an increase in your on your keystone or something like that. I'm not sure exactly yeah. exactly how that works out, but you basically buff your keystone so that um, next time around you can you can up the ante a little bit. Yeah. So, are are they still doing gold, silver, bronze, or are they doing yeah. are they still doing challenges, or is this a different thing? It's based on the time that it takes for you to complete it. They are not okay. so challenge modes right now. Um, it's not challenge modes. It it really is not challenge modes. Don't think of it like challenge yeah. modes because uh, challenge modes they they um, even out your gear and all this kind of stuff. They don't do this for the mythic plus dungeons. They let you keep your gear just the way it is. And you right. go through at the difficulty you choose and, you know, and see, see if you can beat it. And these yeah. affixes are, uh, these affixes get pretty tough, especially on alpha right now because yeah. the gear isn't there. <laughs> There's like zero yeah. gear. And so if you get into the, you know, where you're having two affixes, it's actually um, pretty, pretty damn challenging. I mean, look at some of so. these decay. All players suffer damage over time while the challenge is active. So right. while you're in the dum- uh, dungeon, you're taking damage. Your healer is just having to constantly heal. Yeah, and yeah. if and if you get something like raging on top of that, where uh, non-boss enemies will enrage at low health, doing double damage, that can right. add up. You know, S- skittish tanks generate much less threat. Oh, yeah, they. Man. I know they said uh, <laughs> oh. for level six, they yeah. actually there's certain combos, so not everything can match up. Uh, oh, I like good. Skittish, <laughs> skittish, and teaming can match up. So tanks are taking less threat, and then there's additional non-boss enemies. So there's a lot more trash. Uh, uh-huh. So they're talking. You know, it's going to be really hard for your your tank Just to keep all, all over the place. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. The question that I have for you is this. I was I was looking at uh, MMO and Champion and they had a little little uh link to the cartoon uh Dark Legacy Comics and it was uh, mm-hmm. number 532. I'm going to call it out. Sure. Uh and the the headline of the newspaper that the dude was reading said, "Will Mythic Plus dungeons make raids obsolete?" That was the question that the newspaper in the comic uh put forth to uh, the the folks in there. What do you guys think? Will Mythic Plus dungeons cause a problem for, or not necessarily a problem, but give people options anyway uh, to rating, like viable options? What do you think, Shark? I'll go to you first. All right. <laughs> that. Mm, All, All right, right. I guess yeah, I'm man. first then. All right. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, still making noises, <laughs> d- delaying the inevitable. Oh boy! Uh, I don't think I don't I don't think it kills rating. No, I don't think it makes it obsolete. Um, but I do the way you phrased it later, as you were kind of trying to get more friendly. I feel like um, a <laughs> well, a you got to peel it back a little bit. I mean, because obsolete well, seems just, a little yeah, hard nosed, right? Obso- so. Yeah, but I mean, it makes sense. The thing is, what blizzard is doing is they're making these small team things happen where you can have four people in diablo and get together and run a bunch of riffs and have a good time five people in heroes of the storm uh uh six people in overwatch get together these small team events uh where you get together you can get more committed players because what was the biggest problem with asparagus when we went 25? It was scheduling. Everybody couldn't show up. It was, it yeah. was totally people scheduling. Show That's what it is. Yeah. Um, we had to have 30 people on the roster at least to make sure that we could have 25 any night. Right. Um, and then those bench players had to sit there almost every night. They'd get in once in a while, but, you know, it's just very, very frustrating to yeah. have to. And, and you know, uh, there's a reason why they, they uh, after vanilla, didn't have 40 man raids, you know. Right. Um, Right. So the smaller the team sizes are getting, the easier it is to build a team, the more people feasibly that are going to be able to do it. So I don't know. I think it's a really cool alternative. Alter- I don't even know if I'd say it was an alternative. Um, 
I feel like it's going to be you're going to do almost maybe not necessarily like, you know, I'm a PVE or PVP. Like a lot of guys do one or the other, Mm -hmm. you know, Um, for example, I am PVE. I really do not do that much PVP at all. And when I do, it is not competitive (laughs) playing around, going into RPG or a Uh, random battle. I I went into Ashran this last week a few times on my Hunter. (laughs) It doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean I'm doing it. You're just standing in the back barraging. (laughs) Does anyone know what's going on in there yet? Oh yeah, I've yeah, yeah. never people, had any idea. I just see a huge group on. of people like running this way, the, and I'm like, but the problem is, people. the problem is, I don't know what's going on in there. So yeah, uh, they say does. get to F1. I'm like, where the F is one? So, yeah. but no, it wasn't. That's not what they meant by F. <laughs> so yeah. I was like, what, F1 <laughs> key? What are you talking about? No, it's the first flag. Uh, That's what they're talking. Yeah, about. but to to complete my thought, um, <laughs> yeah, I think ahead. that. <laughs> trying to derail you that's all <laughs> and it's by the fu key uh <laughs> i think that i think that the um i think that this might be something that people do instead of raiding with smaller guilds mm-hmm. if that makes any sense mm-hmm. not that it'll make raiding obsolete but maybe you don't have enough people to actually do raiding so lfr is the only real way you're going to get to see that content maybe uh doing flex pugs or something Right. Um, but you do have enough people in your small guild that can get together and do this. Uh, we haven't had small team PVE content that's been competitive outside of challenge modes and challenge modes didn't, there was really not much of a reward except for, Oh, I get this cool transmog, which is really cool, mm-hmm. mind you. But I feel like they're trying to be like, well, let's give them more tangible rewards. Let's give them loot eye level based on how high they're going in the dungeon let's give mm-hmm. them this and the other and which i mean in many ways some of the loot in the five mans will be better than the loot in the raids is that's what they're talking about now right depending on how high you go wait what's that i'm sorry Maybe not. that the loot in the five mans might even be better than the loot in the raids depending no, on no, what raid I, I believe they man. said it would be competitive with not, that it, not that it would be better. I think that the raid gear would probably so that the still early, be better. But early level, early level mythic dungeons will probably be similar to LFR. Mid level mythic dungeons will be similar to normal and heroic. Um, so yeah, um, I don't know. It could be. It could. It could be very interesting. I mean, I'm I'm kind of yeah. looking forward to this and seeing how I'll it be, all. I'll be doing it. I'll be getting together. Yeah. We'll probably have raids, and then people that have to leave because they can't stay after the scheduled raid, we'll have five people stay. We already do that I'm, right now with Mythic Dungeons. I'm thinking this could. We, I, I'm thinking this could be out. my jam. Actually, this could be yeah. actually really fun. Because you instead of raiding, and that's yeah, and I I don't think it'll kill raiding, but yeah, yeah. Giz, what do you think, man? Uh, I really like it. So I don't I don't think it's going to kill raiding either. Uh, I think it just adds something else to do. I think it could uh, add between the lulls or kind of be a buffer between the lulls between raids. Um, so the problem with the challenge mode right now is your your gear score is set, correct? And yeah. you people can either do the challenge modes now or they can't because they're, they're not the easiest thing in the world. The nice things about these is you go in there with whatever gear score you have. Uh, they've said level one, you know, it's it's fairly easy. So is level two up until you get to those first A fixes is when it's going to become a challenge. So you can do these all throughout the expansion. Uh, you get your raid gear and stuff. You're waiting for the next raid. You hop back in, do these, see how far up you can get. And then even in the, the late game, when you're all geared out, it's something that you can really grind out with friends just to see how high you can get, just like the, the rifts in Diablo. Um and I, I think it's it's going to be really great. I've, I've watched several videos of people doing these mm-hmm. uh, in the alpha. And, I mean, they've been talking about how it's the most fun they've had in World of Warcraft in a long time. That actually awesome. makes so. me want to want to play the alpha. <laughs> I just <laughs> yeah. don't want to have to level up to do it. I want yeah. them to just be able to throw me a 110 and let's go. Right. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, That'd you're, of awesome. course, going to have, like, your your hardcore raiders and stuff who, like, the, the top teams who are just going to be specifically raiding. You're going to have people who will probably concentrate on this and not do yeah. the rating at all and this is just to get gear and then you'll have you know your your just overall pv ears who can get a nice mix of both yeah and I'm, I'm thinking that you know one of the great things is that for like smaller guilds it's guilds especially and for those guys who prefer smaller teams um and i kind of consider myself to be one of those after after doing 
a couple of rounds of large raids and stuff like that. I'm that's not really my it's not really my thing. I really love mm-hmm. 10 I really love 10 man raiding. That was my that was, I was like in heaven when it was 10 man raiding. Um and so something like this this really kind of interests me because uh you know, especially with Overwatch and with Heroes of the Storm, uh you can basically get together with your with your buddies three nights a week and go run three different games and go mm-hmm. have just a ton of fun no matter yeah. what. And it's just, it's, it's a no brainer. It's like, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I can have fun with all these different games and I love all those games. So why not? And it's always better playing with friends. So just get together and do that. I mean, this yeah. is, it's really cool, dude. And I, oh, I'm so excited for this. And in, you know, the, the idea b- behind mythic plus dungeons and the reason it's called mythic plus is because they don't have a better name for it right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> So if you guys have a better name for it, let the devs know. Don't level let level growing dungeons. Don't, don't let me know. <laughs> <laughs> let them know. What? <laughs> well, don't you? Aren't you like? Don't you have the devs' ear and everything? Can't you like right now? No. Email everyone at Blizzard. Like uh, I can. Pat, they won't. Pat Crane. They'll just Pat throw. Crane it just this. goes right to their junk file. I think. Pretty much. Guys, we got a we got a new email from Pat. Hurry, everybody! Your <laughs> hurry, computer. Hurry, everybody! Gotta, throw it away. One, two, three, go. <laughs> no. So yeah, that's no. what they do. That's what they do. That's what they do. All right. Well, um, but the, but so this should be this should the Mythic Plus dungeon should be lasting throughout the expansion, right? I mean, that's the idea behind them is that they will mm-hmm. they will kind of grow with the expansion and they'll be uh, very difficult and all that kind of stuff and challenging and well into uh, the end of the expansion. So this is going to be awesome, guys. I'm the only thing I'm worried it. about is yeah. they say growing with the expansion. Well, I don't know. The if it's, I don't know if they said growing. Uh, the, it'll be challenging enough or, throughout the expansion. Or challenging throughout the expansion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the salty part of me wants to be like, so you're just not going to make any more five minute content after you open the expansion at the beginning. The so it's the same five minute content for two years. Well, if it says it's going to be challenging enough to withstand the expansion, yeah, I am inferring it's they're not obviously stating it, right? But it does seem to imply that here's your five minute content. It'll be tough throughout the you know, and I don't know. I hope that that's not the case, and it's not necessarily the case. You're correct, right? But uh, well, I don't know. We don't we don't know everything I, at this I, point. I, about I really don't want doing. that to be the case. Yeah, it may get a little bit. Uh, tedious from time to time, but if you're if you're doing yeah. it with your buddies and and you're kind of floating between these three different three or four different games or whatever, I think you can have a blast no matter what. So, and mm-hmm. I think if they're successful, I would really hope that the team would be like, "Wow, people are loving these. Let's make a new one for patch seven point two or whatever, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. and we'll release it maybe alongside like new raid comes seven point one, then seven point two is a new five man, then seven point three is a new raid, seven point four is the final five man, or I don't know something like that that we can grow a little bit. Um, maybe. Hopefully, maybe shark likes content. Shark likes content. <laughs> <laughs> that's, All that's, right. so that's my only point. <laughs> hey, by the way, I I hear that uh, Shark likes content. I do. Content is fun. You so, can play content. So there. All it's right. new. <laughs> right. Oh, God. It is. What's okay, let's to move this? on to uh, <laughs> talk about class order missions in the alpha. Now, class order missions in the alpha have been a confusing topic for a lot of folks uh, because they're not done and i think that's the, i think that's the biggest thing that people don't understand is that um that that uh ian hasakostas a watcher is trying to tell people uh about this week is that class order missions aren't done yet <laughs> they are yeah they are in develop they're actually in development on the alpha guys blizzard uses their what? alpha as an alpha, as a testing ground, can you believe it? I I cannot believe what I just heard. Right, it, it's not like you can pay for early access either. You can't pay for early access and then get a finished game and and it's just called alpha. No, <laughs> no, it's there. Oh, actually, see, that's how I've been playing it. Though. They're actually like, working it out. They're actually working it. They're out. putting more stuff in it. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. They keep on. They keep on. I thought they were just cutting improving stuff. It, in they're there. just cutting. Is it demonology that's not done yet? Just cutting so. that spec completely <laughs> out of the game. Just. They might be. No, they they probably won't be. <laughs> Don't worry, oh, warlocks. God. Don't send your letters here. Oh boy, you, you can. I don't care. Like warlocks <laughs> can write. Oh wow! <laughs> Shots fired. Shots the fired. Everybody knows I'm a mage. It's, it's friendly competition. Oh boy. Uh, so, a lot of warlocks do inscription, so I'm pretty sure they can write. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. Uh, there you right. go. All right. I well, was thinking of hunters. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, uh, so Watcher has taken to the forums and and has kind of come up and clarified some of the points that are going to happen for these class order missions uh, and he's trying to say his number one point is that they are not like garrisons they are not <laughs> like garrisons Which, guys it's a good point to make <laughs> right because on the forums everybody's like what are these these are just like garrisons he's like no these are not like garrisons <laughs> they really aren't uh, and so he's he said uh, quote there are fewer followers, champions, fewer and less frequent missions, but more importantly, the system is more closely tied to the game world itself. Uh, order resources come from playing the game normally and will uh, come primarily from doing world quests at max level. So that's how you get your resources, is by right. going out into the world and playing. Seems like a unique concept already. Uh, if you get a... Raid mission, it won't give you a piece of raid loot directly. It will give you a quest to kill a specific boss in that zone in exchange for a bonus piece of loot. That's kind of cool, right? I do like that. Sure. I do like that. If you want yeah. the reward, go out and kill the boss. And then it's just right there. We'll give you a bonus piece. Awesome. Uh, in general, from the ground up, missions in Legion are not intended to be an alternate progression path or a self-contained activity. We don't think of them as content. It's not content. That's oh, cool. But Shark who likes content. Shark doesn't well, you like do. It you anymore. do like. You do like new content. You do like content. Yeah. But this isn't it. So you don't have to like it. It's fine. You don't even have to okay. play it. It's totally cool. Okay. Because it's not content. But see, uh, bonus raid loot. Now I do have to play it. Well, but it's it does say content in quotes. <laughs> so it's yeah, it's not air quotes content. You know. Uh, but I they are it, useful additional outlet to complement core traditional content such as dungeons, outdoor questing, and raids. So, already it's... And I think he took to the forums before the show again. <laughs> and he went through and yeah. explained it again. Because it seems like people are not picking it up. Pick, they're not picking up what he's putting down. So... <laughs> yeah. it's This is the thing I'm still most worried about with this expansion because of garrisons i know it's not garrisons but it's kind of garrisons but not really garrisons it's so. garrisons light <laughs> yeah it's, but it, as long as you know you're not having to like min max your garrison like this stuff in order to get anything out of it which it doesn't sound like you're gonna have to because you're you're gathering stuff out from in the world just while you're questing uh which is perfect i just i want to be able to play the game how i want to play gather that stuff and just you know throw it at whatever when i get back into my uh class hall right right see and w what i'm confused about though is that we go out to uh collect resources yeah that will come primarily from doing world quests at yep. max level yep. how is this not just dailies no it's Right. So we're going right. back to cat was a catacomb. No, we're going back to mop. We're going back to 5.1. The world okay. of dailies. Yeah. Well, it's what it and I, and I can see how like, well, it's not dailies because there's not going to be blue question marks over people's heads. Like it's not dailies. Right. But it's kind of dailies. Well, actually it's it's so it's so it's not dailies either because uh the class order halls, they have their own progression paths. And right. uh and this is another thing that he, that he kind of brought up as well is that Every single class has their own class order hall progression path, kind of like Garrison's had. Uh, okay. But it's different for every class. So while Death Knights might, might be going out and recruiting blah, blah, blah for whatever, then you have the mages going and trying to figure out what's going wrong over here. This is, yep. the, this is the how your questing will be 
uh, over w- when you reach uh, level cap. So it it okay. should be it should be better. And I'm sure there's going to be some sort <laughs> of achievement 5.1. with it. Right. <laughs> some sort of some sort of achievement with it that uh, knock on wood they do flying the same way as they did in yeah. Draenor. And they'll be. I would assume this would pr- be part of that achievement um, right. so, to get your flying unlocked. So in do all the explorations, the find all the treasures. You're getting right, yeah. order resource God, points. And the treasures are just annoying. I know they're they're always. It's annoying. like why? Like they were <laughs> almost puzzles. every single one of those treasures. If if we were all, in, I mean, I know not everybody was in mythic gear, but even if you were in heroic gear. Uh, from the previous expansion, like the treasures were still basically useless. Oh yeah, <laughs> even if they're upgraded. Right, right. Well, even I don't think even I, at level yeah. they were they weren't that great because you had heirlooms and so they weren't necessarily right. Awesome. Exactly, anyway. heirlooms. I didn't replace so. my cloak until after like a few weeks of the expansion. <laughs> I remember. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, uh, that's all behind us and done and over with. Crazy times. Looking forward to the future. Yeah. And I and I really do hope that uh, that the class order hall uh, stuff is much different than Garrison missions and and uh, <laughs> world of Garrisons. Um, yeah, let's be optimistic. I mean, it yeah, sounds like yeah. I think they I think they're well aware of what didn't work. Um, yeah, or that it didn't work at least. And Correct. I I I I would be very surprised if they were trying to replicate something that they knew that the player base. I'm kind of surprised in that they general, didn't like. I'm kind of surprised that they kept it at all because uh one in even watcher he, he was saying that they weren't sure if they were going to keep it or not that that system and they weren't going to they weren't sure if they were going to try to keep that that system around the mission table system. Uh and I'm surprised that they did keep it because usually what ends up happening is that their pendulum just swings so hard the other way when they find out that that fans don't like stuff that mm-hmm. I'm surprised that he didn't didn't just blow it up, you know, like completely. Just say, oh, they didn't like that. Get rid of it. You know, the, yep. <laughs> let's go. Let's go completely the other way. No, they're kind of meeting in the middle. They're kind of just bringing it down slightly. Yeah, I, I like it's it. a I new think it's world for Blizzard. No, and it's only it's only it's just you know. I like conjecture it. at this point. We're, 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 you know, we don't know what it's going to be yet. So, right, right. not, not tangibly. Yeah. Um, so we'll see. Uh, in other news, because I know that we have a lot to talk about tonight, so we should probably There's get tons away from of it. Stuff. Yeah, and yeah. I just, I just kind of want to hit on this real quick. Uh, there was a uh, vanilla WoW server that was not run by WoW. It's a private server. It's a couple of different private servers, right? Um, mm-hmm. And it's called Nostalrius. And the uh, blizzard shut them down, essentially. Right, Giz? Is that what happened? They did. So uh, I guess these these guys that were running this uh, were approached by some representatives of Blizzard and uh, pretty much told to uh, cease and desist. So or cease and desist. Yep. Lawyer, and lawyers uh, said they, shut it down. So they did, yeah. and a lot of people aren't. Uh, very happy about it because there, you know, there was a lot of people out there who liked playing uh, vanilla WoW. I think they had a Burning Crusade version, and yep. then uh, you know PVE and PvP realms. Yep. Uh, it's, you know, Blizzard has every right to do this. Of course, it's it's their game, but it's almost like why why now? These things have been around for a while, and like I said, people have been enjoying them. I imagine it has something to do, you know, wanting P. To uh, get people into the new expansion and stuff, but yeah, well, I mean, you know, uh, it's it's about playing the current game, right? I mean, they want yeah. people to play the current game. They want people to pay for it. Uh, obviously, you know, subscription would help. Mm-hmm. So, and and they want people to play the game as it currently is. I think that yeah. those are the big things, right? It's so. it's uh, it's just tough. It, it puts this kind of shade on Blizzard, I think. Just, you know, the people that played this and stuff are are kind of thinking on Reddit and stuff. People have been talking about, oh, Blizzard must be really desperate and stuff in order to shut this down. They must be losing subscribers so much that they have to, you know, stop these people from playing this uh, version to try and get them to come back to the others. And I don't think that's necessarily no. the case. 
No, uh, it's just it, it, it's some people are going to take it that way. You, one of the things yeah. one of the things with business is that if you have a uh, property, intellectual property, especially mm-hmm. you have to protect that no matter what you have to protect that all the time. And Absolutely. if you if you hear of somebody that is doing something like this, you got to say, you know what, that's actually our game uh, and you shouldn't have this. This is not yeah. this is not for you. This is this, <laughs> this is ours. Uh, so, so there, but it's funny because the guys, uh, from Nostalrius, the, they said that they would, they will, uh, be publicly providing everything needed in order to set up your own Nostalrius if you're willing to. So, <laughs> so they kind of said F you blizz and they're putting all this stuff up online, all the data, everything. All you yeah. have to do is just plug and play and you're back up. So with with all the accounts and everything like that too. So it's kind of weird. Yeah. It's I, uh, weird. Yeah, I mean, I understand what you guys are saying as far as I I get the business perspective, the business side of Blizz. That's our property, and you can't use it. Yeah. However, however, <laughs> how he's, getting that look at, he's, he's getting that look in his eyes, guys. <laughs> oh, if, if you're just watching um, the audio, you or you're just yeah, listening to the gotta, audio, you're missing something. You. You need oh, to not boy. listen to the audio. Oh, Why are boy. you doing that? Go go YouTube it while you're driving in your car right now. Listening no, don't to your do, favorite don't podcast. Don't do that while you're driving. Don't do that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> however, yeah, uh, <laughs> I feel like Blizzard doesn't offer this service. Right. They don't. So they're shutting something down. Um, it feels to me like, and no, this is this is dumb and it's and it's apples and oranges but it feels to me as if nintendo's like no you can't play red and blue pokemon anymore you have to buy a ds and you have to play the newest pokemon game that's the oh if you want to catch a pikachu that's how you got to do it well and you it, know what i mean and uh, but i really really like the old pokemon from when i was a kid Tage, i liked the Tage and, Ch- you know Tage in chat says nobody has bothered to say no nobody has bothered to, to you know explain to people that these guys actually stole the code and are now using it illegally now that is true i am not denying that right um they stole it i feel like yeah they they did and they right. broke you know right. they and they and I know laws. everybody's like They've been on and done this, and Blizzard's actually probably treating them fairly nicely yeah. compared to what they could do. Sure. Um, so I'm not coming down on Blizzard, but I'm wondering, and you know, how difficult it would have been to rather than cease and desist to bring them into the fold somehow and say, "Hey, we're going to you can't, allow you, you to can't run do this." That. No, for, no, no, for, no. You know, no, you know. No, I don't know how always, we can, do, but they do it. But they put their name on it. You know what I mean? They said they forward. have to sign a contract. This is a Blizzard no. thing. I mean, I get, but at the same time, that's you know, I, I think I guess it's just kind of sad for me that I that's, can't go back and play the same WoW that I started playing. This ever. is this is also why we don't. This is also why we don't at the CTR Guild. We we don't have a horde side because I just don't want to. You don't want to divide things up. Yeah. You just want to. No, just, and I, yeah, I get all that. It's just, I guess <laughs> just being the voice of the voice of dissent here. Like yeah. I understand why people get frustrated about this particular issue you know because i'm kind of it's one of those you know i want to i would love to and, go back and rate era the way it was oh really uh, you can't, you can't, really well, my, as you a mage with, as a mage do you want to do that you want to just be yeah, relegated to fun. making water the entire time uh yeah yeah maybe let's talk to coltrane I mean, coltrane is coltrane has many wonderful memories of uh making water if, an hour or before the idea, raid. If there was a server, I mean, I know, I know, like splitting. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I'm my 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 brain's uh, going in circles as far as all the different funny. things that. Because I'm like, well, why doesn't Blizzard just open up a server that does this on their own servers, and it's you know, one that's not going that's going to be post dated? Well, because it it would crash because so many people would do it. They'd have to have multiple. Oh, I get it. All right. I don't know. It just <laughs> makes me sad. It makes me sad. That's all. It makes me sad. I understand. I, I understand. But I see sparks. Not that I did. I see sparks I and never smoke did. coming <laughs> leaking from Shark Hill. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. I miss I miss Coltrane too. Uh, if you if you want to if you want to uh, uh, make sure to walk the world until you're 
level 40 or whatever the heck it was, uh, feel free. Go make up your own server. Go do it. They're providing yeah. it for you. So you can steal, well, you can steal the code too and be, become an <laughs> illegal server. How's that? I want, I want my own cease and desist letter from Blizzard that I can frame on my <laughs> wall. Frame, put it up on the wall. All right, we're going to the Battle.net news, guys. Do it! Oh, uh, yeah. So when we can, we take a look at the big headlines around the, the rest of the Blizzard universe. And we have a bunch of news here, too. Uh, first up, we're going to talk about Overwatch. Overwatch, uh, we have the second and final beta test weekend this weekend. And it's not actually a full weekend, either. It's just 36 hours of Overwatch. Um, uh, straight. 36 yeah. hours straight of Overwatch. Don't do anything else. 36 hours straight. Gizmo, Gizmo what is, uh, what's the deal here? What's the scoop? Yeah, so it is going to begin on Friday, April 15th at 9 a.m. Pacific, and then it's going to go all the way till Saturday, April 16th at 9 p.m. Um, and it's kind of the same thing as before. If you are selected to participate, you will see an install button appear on the Overwatch tab of your Battle.net desktop. And you can also check if you're at work and we're waiting to get in the beta like I was. Uh, you can go to your Battle.net account and under the Your Game Accounts, you can look at all that list, and there should there will be an Overwatch uh, beta little right. thing there, right. and you'll know you're in. Right. But I believe if you were in, I'm, I'm not 100% certain on this, I believe if you were in the last test weekend, you will also be in this one. Uh, Let's not there, assume anything, but uh, that's the well, hope, I, I right? Believe, I believe they said that from the last one, oh, okay. but I've not, no promises. Okay. Um, All right. I just erased that from my memory because I got in the alpha and I was super excited. I'm looking forward to this because uh, <laughs> this means that there's going to be a whole heck of a lot of people to play with, mm -hmm. no downtime whatsoever, yeah. and this is just going to be awesome, right? So yeah, absolutely. It's, or it's, we'll crash the server, one or the other. Right. <laughs> Either way, we're we're still. I would rather have it be that way. You know, if we're going to do yeah, this, no. let's just blow it up. Let's just try to let's just try to make sure to have everybody that can play play. Because it's a yeah. fun game, I like it. And yeah. You would you would hope at this point it wouldn't crash the servers, considering the game's coming out in about a month. Yeah, I no think doubt. they would have that handled. But yeah. yeah, it'll it'll be nice to see a lot of new faces in there because a lot of times right now you still you you see the same people over and over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they and they so. did something else with Overwatch uh, over this last uh, hey. week or whatever, uh, where they talked about competitive play. Hold on a sec. I I hold on. There we go. So we have competitive play, and if you play Hearthstone, it's kind of like the difference of playing casual versus ranked, essentially, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. we're just going for rank now, and and uh, Shark, how is rank actually going to work for uh, Overwatch? How's well, how, how is it going to be played out? I guess the way that they're doing, they have four tiers, right? Mm -hmm. uh, they have. Is, is that what you're asking me? Yeah, yeah. Let's do. Let's okay. talk about that first. <laughs> because there's a lot of stuff going yeah, into competitive. So well, they have four tiers: challenger, advanced, expert, and master. And each tier also has five divisions, ranked one through five. Mm -hmm. So you start out at challenger zero, basically, um, where you don't have any stars. They're just kind of placing you, at least for me. And then once you've won so many games or you can move up to challenger one and you have one star and then move up to challenger two once you get all five stars and you move up then you're in a new tier you're in the advanced tier right and you're at one star right so it's almost it's sort of it's sort of like mixing the starcraft model of leagues mm -hmm. uh it's, it's, I mean, it's very similar, I feel like, to that StarCraft model with leagues. Okay. Uh, so based on how you're playing, uh, you have these different tiers that you're in. Um, but let's say you want to play with some friends. You have to be within five or ten levels of that person. So, for example, if you are Challenger 1 and you're playing with someone that's Expert 2, you can't queue with that person no matter how good of friends you are because they consider that to be an unfair advantage that that person will carry their team to victory um, because they're so far advanced from the other people in the right. Right. the thing so it's yeah. a little bit that's and I, they don't like for example heroes they don't do that like you could be rank 50 and queue with a rank one mm -hmm. and that's fine they just sort of mash your 
what MMRs you, together. What is, so what do you think that that will what that will do, Giz? I mean, is that gonna is that gonna cause more problems more problems than it's worth, or is that gonna be okay, or is or what's gonna happen? I think it's gonna be fine. I mean, of course, some people are gonna be unhappy they can't play together, but you know, bottom line is this is competitive play. You know, this is not grab your friends and have a good time. Sure, you want to play with your friends and have a good time, but you want these games to be competitive. And them doing this is going to keep the matches competitive. Because if, if you have a challenger person playing with an expert person, that's how are they going to do that matchmaking? Right. They're just going to have a mix of all those, you know, challenger, advanced, and expert. It's not going to be a high-quality match. Um, and so I, I think it's, it's good overall. But the interesting thing is uh, you can... You have these tiers and divisions. Uh, you cannot go down any divisions in Challenger. Right. And then you can also not go down a tier. So say your friend is a couple levels up. You can work your way up. You get to advanced. You're not going to drop back down to Challenger. You get to expert. You're not going to drop back down to advanced. Um, so you can work your way back up to play you know, with your friends. And yeah. yeah. Is that true? Is and that, yes. That, yeah. That's gonna, what Yeah, right. I'm, I'm reading that. All right, because I saw, uh, I saw he, the Jeff Kaplan well. uh, video, and it was it seemed a little. Different. He said, "Ignore that." Okay, he said it was wrong. Okay, um, right. yeah, like I, I think it was the the day after that he said he had explained it wrong, which is nice because <laughs> these these seasons it's are only going to be confusing. a month long. It's very yeah. confusing. Oh, so they're going to be like Hearthstone uh, seasons? Yes, they're yeah. they're going to be oh, a month wow. long. It's going to be a month to start out with. It's not for sure yet. So, but you know, if if it was a month long and you could just sit in stalemate and climb up and down. That would be way too short. So now that yeah. you can progressively yeah. climb up, it's yeah. going to be a little better. But uh, that's interesting. The and way if, the matches are going to work, actually, yeah, Go ahead. is pretty interesting because you have your assault and escort maps, and uh, you're going to go, you're going to defend, and then you're going to attack. And a lot of these type of games uh, work on what do they call it? A uh, sandbox, sand. Stopwatch? I think it's stopwatch. Oh, yeah, so say, yeah, the stopwatch. Dead watch. You, yeah, say you uh, attack and you, you push a payload, you finish it in three minutes. The next team, if they're pushing and it hits three minutes, one second, they lose. It's not how it's going to be here because they've explained that, you know, sometimes the end of the map is the most exciting part to watch. So they want it to get to that. And so if both teams push the payload, then it's going to go to a control map and they're going to uh, play sudden death on a control point. That's cool. Which is... Yeah, really interesting take in, in the first person um, competitive scene. I really like yeah. it. Yeah, it's kind of neat. So, uh, and then they also have uh, a hidden rank. Well, it's not really hidden, uh, but if you get yeah. really super awesome, you'll be heroic, and that is basically like legendary and Hearthstone, where they're where mm -hmm. you actually get a rank instead of have stars. Yeah. So they give you your number. Uh, yeah, your, this, yeah, is your this is gonna be number. cool guys. I am looking forward to this. I haven't hopped into any matches because of all the crap that's been going on in my life but uh, But uh, yeah, it sounds really fantastic and I I can't wait to actually get in there and do this stuff Have you have you guys? Yeah. Played any of the I have challenge? I'm, I'm challenger one nice. <laughs> I ranked up. I got my first star Congratulations. Um, I'm terrible at Overwatch, by the way. I'm worse <laughs> at Overwatch than I am at pretty much maybe almost any other game ever. Right. Uh, but I have fun. Uh, cool. Sometimes the people it's all that play about. with me don't. <laughs> right. Right. That's a, I'm not quite level 25 yet, which I, I don't think we mentioned. You have to be level 25, 25 in order yeah, to, to get it yeah. started. To, yeah. yeah, play competitive. I'm like one game away from 25, so I'm going to hop in there probably within this next week. Uh, but I, I think it's worth mentioning that this could possibly have an impact, this style of competitive play on heroes, because they are oh. revamping the heroes' rank system. Huh. Uh, so it'll be see if they take anything from this and kind of put it in that. So I don't know. Do you think that they will? I mean, is it sounding like that that might be a thing? Uh, well, They're already they going have, away from number ranks. Yeah, they are going like away that. from the numbers. It's going okay. to be, I think, like the, the bronze, silver, gold... Platinum, good master, Platinum, grandmaster. Yep. Um, so you know that's that's already more towards like this. Uh, I I don't imagine that seasons will only be a month long. I think they'll probably be anywhere from three to six months. Hopefully, towards the six months end, or they, it could go with the competitive seasons. They have the spring, summer, and uh, winter championships. Yes. But um, no four months on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So we will see. Cool. Cool. The only other thing that we really have to talk about uh, for the Battle.net news is uh, Hearthstone. They continue to re- reveal cards for the next expansion, and I think all the old gods are out now, and it looks like some of them are just going to crush everyone. Everyone is going to... <laughs> like These cards we'll are see. getting insane. It, it looks insane, and I can't wait to see what the how it plays. You still have to have a work of Congress to be able to get the thing to trigger, though. You know, yeah, a yeah. lot of the stuff like people like I know Cthulhu people have been talking about how cool Cthulhu going to be. Yep. Um, well, you got to draw him and you have to live right. long enough to be able to play him and you have to play all the draw beat. For, and, you know, it's the same so, thing with all these guys. Know. But I mean, there's a new Deathwing one where he yeah, summons all the new Deathwing where when he dies, he summons all the all the dragons from your hand. Essentially. Yeah, so you, you have know. a Ysera and uh, whatever <sighs> something back there. It's <laughs> throw down Deathwing. It's you play Deathwing and Ysera on the same turn. <laughs> it's sick, dude. That'd be crazy. It's gonna be, it's gonna be super weird. So the meta is definitely changing around for this next expansion all over the place. We'll wow. have to see what's up with that. Um, and then one other one other little piece of news that I want to bring up in here instead of in shoutouts, which we're almost to anyway. But we have a guy that, as far as I know, is is uh, Nostradamus, because yeah, <laughs> the magical person. Yeah, and and I think Gizmo, he's in your Discord as well. But Mosley, mm-hmm. who is a CTR Guild member, uh, he actually won the ten grand from the Heroes of the Dorm Championship. <laughs> For yeah, guessing, huge applause for that guy. For guessing all the right stuff, ten grand. Yeah. Like, he said, Coming "I think my, home. He said, "I think my wife's gonna let me go to BlizzCon this year." Yes. <laughs> I was, I was tweeting uh, at him. I was tweeting at him, and he said, uh, "I said, so you're buying everybody drinks at BlizzCon?" He said, "Well, maybe one or two, <laughs> or That's something awesome. like that." But uh, I can't believe ten thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars and it went to a guildy i know that's it's so really, awesome it makes me happy and a member of the ctr community and yeah i know he even he even thanked lords of the storm and stormcast and all those mm-hmm. guys uh uh in one tweet yeah um it's... but i don't know why because if they had known anything then why <laughs> Giz, why don't you have the ten thousand oh, dollars i had a, i had asu winning you know the rest of my i had asu winning too i think so a lot of people did yeah. But no, it was it was really funny because he it was a couple weeks. I think we are in the, like the round of 16 or something whenever he posted the picture in uh, the Lords of the Storm Discord. He's like, guys, I'm tied for first. I'm like, what? And so yeah. it made us like all nervous each week. We're checking his like his bracket for yeah. him and trying to figure out if he's still in first. And he pulled it out. He actually made a sign. He was at Heroes of the Dorm Live. Right. He made a so- sign that... Uh, said I just won the ten thousand dollar bracket challenge or something and I guess he got it taken away from him. <laughs> oh yes oh, no. ESPN or uh, somebody wasn't happy with it, but Oh and he didn't uh, get a big check. No he didn't. He, gets he didn't a, get a big shit. check. It's one just mailed to him. Just actually it's automatic deposit. He doesn't even see yeah. a check. <laughs> <laughs> but you know I, I I would take that. I'll just take the ten thousand right. if you if who cares? I don't need the big who cares? <laughs> that that'd be all that'd all be good. Um, anything else that we're missing out on? I mean, we have some new uh patches in in Heroes and but you know, we can we'll let that we'll let that sit for a little bit. Listen to one guys, of those, one uh, those Lords of the Storm will talk about that. it. Stormcast will uh, definitely talk about it. So, absolutely. Yeah. Make sure to uh, to uh, listen to those guys and and see what's going on with that and I think there was a new uh was there a new patch for Overwatch as well? I think so. Probably just balancing, yeah, I think one just dropped balancing stuff and whatever. So, ah, <sighs> fun times. It is good to be a Blizzard gamer these days. I'll tell you that much. It's it's been a, the last we haven't had a show the past couple of weeks, and there's been a lot of a lot of nice stuff coming out. Yeah, can't wait for Warcraft Four though, man. Really, <laughs> really looking forward to that. It's not coming, yeah. Shark. It's not coming. <laughs> You don't know. Uh, you, don't I guess it, you don't know. <laughs> you don't it's know. It's nice to be a Blizzard gamer, but at the same time, there's there's just like you're a Blizzard gamer now. There's nothing else. You are. I know. They have my. Uh, they, I think I, I must have signed a blood contract somewhere because I am bound uh, they, to yeah. Blizzard. Right. Yeah. Soul. I'm okay your, with it. Your soul okay. is. 
Yeah. I will say that I'm probably the coolest professor on campus because like I have students come up to me all the time. Like they'll see me wearing a, you know, dorky shirt or something, or I'll mention Warcraft in, in class because I'm awesome. And they'll be like, do you play Hearthstone? I just downloaded it. You need to help me build a deck. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, bud. <laughs> Office sure. hours. Let's do this. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll call it, uh, we'll call it tutoring. I don't, I don't yeah. Know. How about man, that? It's, it's yeah. thank you, Blizzard. Thank you. I'm the cool teacher. Thank That's you. Nice. That's <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, that is uh, pretty much the end of the show. So I'm going to play the uh, the fun music. And let's see if, uh, do, guys, do you have any shout outs tonight? I mean, obviously, Mosley for winning the 10K. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, man, that's so cool. Anything, it, else? anything else going on with you guys? Uh, yeah, I just want to give a shout out to the Lord of the Storm community. Uh, again, we've been doing those Monday night custom games. We had a lot of new faces come in uh, this week, and it was really good to uh, to see all them. So, so I, thank you guys. I have a question for you because you are Gizmo Zord, and then you were talking about Swift Zord, and I know mm-hmm. there's Multi Zord. How many Zords are there in the TV you know of? Have you counted there's them all? Ov- there's over fifty. Wow, that's a there's lot of lots. Zords. Uh, do Most of them sh- still based in Kansas City, but we wow. are now spread all over. I, I believe I'm the first Florida Zord. <laughs> How do Was I that- apply for Zordship? That's that's my new uh, <laughs> character name, Florida Zord. Flora Zord. Yes, Flor- Florida Florida Zord. <laughs> Flora Zord. <laughs> it's uh, it's oh like God. that's like the saddest Zord that can't count ballots. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> All right, I just I just told a 1999 joke. You're welcome. <laughs> nice work. Uh, hey, for those guys that want to join me doing other fun stuff, you can always join me on Fridays for drinking and swearing with Jules Scott, and we play. Uh, usually, we play Blizzard games or something fun, and we uh, have the community come along. And last week it was Overwatch, and we had a really good time. And Kalani <laughs> Kalani killed me a bunch of times. Uh, and also a case of the Mondays with Jules Scott and myself on Monday as well. So you can catch Jules and myself Monday and Friday if you want. Look at that. Bookending mm-hmm. the, the work week like that. Uh, and anything else? Okay. Well, I'm going to bail on that and then I'm going to start that up. Start up the, start up the jazzy music. Uh, we cannot do the show without you guys. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, here while we record on Twitch. Uh, and thank you for listening to us at home, in the car, and wherever you are. Uh, thanks for all the feedback that we get on a regular basis. We had questions this week that we just couldn't get to. Uh, but please feel free to join in on the conversation we're having at any time. You can email us at convertdoraid at gmail.com. You can call us and leave comments and questions on our raid line, 612-787-RAID. That's 612-787-7243. You can follow us on Twitter at convert to raid or even indiv- individually. Isn't that right, Gizmo? Yeah, it is right. You can uh, find Pat at Pat Crane. Darius, who isn't here, you don't need to follow him, but he's no. at Board Mind. Yep. You can find me at Gizmozord and uh, Sharku at Sharku underscore CTR. Yes, you can always join our Discord at discord.convertterade.com. You can join the Bazooka Gobble Nation by heading over to convertterade.com, where we have show downloads, forums, videos, audios, tons of links for raiders. Our guild stuff is over there as well. Uh, I don't know, a bunch of stuff. I don't know. Go over to convertterade.com. Check it out for yourself. Uh, we're also on iTunes. We're on the internet. You know, as a regular show is now. Places. Yep, we're live streaming through alphageekradio.com. And, uh, yeah, the Convert to Raid podcast is produced and distributed by Signals Media. Make sure to check out all of our friends on the Signals Media All-Star Network at signalsmedia.com. Uh, that's going to be it for the show. <laughs> <laughs> We hope you guys had a good time. I had a good time. It was great to be back in front of you guys, uh, talking to talking to my peeps about World of Warcrafts and other Blizzard fun stuff. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you on our next show next week at our regular time, Tuesday, 9 p.m. Central. For all the guys at Convert to Raid, bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.